How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Sixkiller. Welcome back to Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. Now we just come back to uh, our town to discover that there's a bunch of new missions that have popped up here again. So, I guess we're going to be spending our time picking up all these missions again. I don't know how that keeps happening, I swear to god. Another arrow came for you today, Levin lad. You mean another message from Terran? Hi lad, time was. You'd have to ask if I was unhurt. Seems to have all grown used to the swab's foolish rigmarole. <sighs> I'm ever so sorry, Chingus. I didn't mean to seem uncaring. It's just, well, you seem fun. You're not actually hurt, are you? Yeah. Nay, hey, lad. Well, that's a relief. I'm glad I was right about that, at least. Aye, aye. Look, never mind all that. Let's have a read of it, shall we? Dear Mr. Imposter, it's finally time for me to take Evermore off you and turn it into the lucky country it was supposed to be all along. Why, you ask? Because some other bandits nicked our base and now we're flaming homeless. Sleeping outside is well cold. So now you're going to have to have one last fight with Fuse Lot then settle down and be all peaceful. You ain't the only one who can live happily ever after, mate. And you ain't gonna neither. Prepare to get clobbered, Terran, real king of the heartlands. Hmm. Oh dear. If they've lost their home, surely they're in no shape to be fighting. Surely. Poor Terran. Don't be going all soft on the swab just yet, your majesty. Homeless bandits is desperate bandits. And there ain't no telling what a desperate man will do. Anyway, you know the drill by now. I posted a sentry outside the castle walls. Go see what he has to say and about how it's looking out there. Thank you. I'll do that right away. Thanks for your help, Chagas. All the missions. Again. Man, I'm sick of fighting Terran. And it's a war mission again, which I'm trying to get rid of. I'm trying to stop having those. So that they're done. And finished. And done. And I don't have to deal with them anymore. Hello. <laughs> well, well, well. If it is now handsome young king, and how are you today, your majesty? Hello. I'm very well, thank you, Lady Trudy. How are the trops looking? Oh, yes. We're all set for another bumper harvest, I'm pleased to say. Honestly, it is a real honor to be able to work the fields as fertile as these again. You're very welcome, and remember, if there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, I wonder if you might give me some advice about Monokoi. I've been rather concerned about him of late. Monokoi? What seems to be the matter? Well, all he seems to do lately is spending his days strolling in the fields, staring at the soil. He barely does a stroke of work. Mm. That's not like him. He loves working the fields. Oh, yes. He does. Oh, he certainly does. He's one of the most green-fingered fellows I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. That's why I want to help him, you see. But he's ever so shy. Every time I try to speak to him, the blighter runs away. Aww. He never was the best conversationalist. Well, at least he didn't threaten to throw you off a cliff. It sounds like you two go back a long way, then. Perhaps he'd feel more comfortable talking to you about whatever it is that's bothering him. Mm. I think you might be right, Lady Trudy. Alright, leave it to me. I'll go talk to him right away. Okay. I guess we'll make that an active quest, because that must be in town here, yeah? That is in town here. We'll get there. Uh, in due time. Gotta talk to these other fools first. Not you. You. Hey there. Do you remember a couple of oh, I've got the dollops of aromatic sap. Hey there. Do I not have that still? I'm sure I had that. Excuse me. Good timing, Your Majesty. I need to talk to you about something important. Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah. Fighting, of course. Doing battle. Those fools in Ding Dong Dell want to take us on, and we're gonna crush them. What? Ding Dong Dell. Why would they want to fight us? Now we can't afford to take them lightly. They've always had plenty of tough fighters, mercenaries like me, and regular soldiers too. Even in a mock battle, I think they probably feel some pretty tough customers. It should be fun. And a good test for our forces, too. <sighs> it's a mock battle. Thank goodness for that. I thought you meant... <laughs> yeah, sorry, I should have been a little clearer, maybe. Anyway, I knew you'd be keen either way. Right. A couple of things to bear in mind. Ding Dong Dell have a nice, well-balanced force, with some extremely talented swordsmen in particular. This won't be easy, but that's exactly what's going to make it so fun. Mm. They said they'd be waiting for us out in Rolling Hills. Head over there and let them know when you're ready to get started. Should be a good scrap. Thank you. I hope so. Thank you, Rexel. Cool. Alright, who else is there? There's one down here. Let's see who that is? It's all the new recruits. They always end up with new missions to do. Mm. Curses, and I was so close. Excuse me. What's the matter, Grisella? Oh, it's you, Your Majesty. I spent hours and hours preparing a very special potion, and I'm tantalizingly close, but I'm still missing one vital ingredient. Mm. Well, I'm sure I can help you find it. What is it exactly? A bone. A delicate wing bone, to be precise. Alright, I'll find you one as soon as I can. Thanks. 
That'd be a great help. Do you mind telling anyone about this? It could be our little secret. Mm -hmm. Of course, I won't tell anyone you don't want me to. I already have it. I'm not going to make it active, yeah. though. There you go. Here you are, Grisella. Thank you very much. You brought me the bone I asked for. This is perfect. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, can you tell me more about this potion you're making? Um... I'm afraid not. It must be kept a secret, even from the ruler of our kingdom. Um... Well, I hope you don't mind me making sure, but it's not some kind of poison or anything like that, is it? Huh? Of course not. How dare you? Look, if you must know, it's a love potion. Someone asked me to concoct one for them. I won't say any more than that, though, and I'm certainly not going to say what it's for. Oh. Oh, I see. Sorry for prying. I hope it's a big success. <laughs> oh, it will be. I'm certain of that. Thank you again, Your Majesty. And listen, if you really want to whip one up for you as well, I can. Just keep it under your hat, alright? Oh. oh, thanks for the offer, Grisella, but I don't think I'll be needing one anytime soon. Another songbook. You must be getting close to getting all the songbooks, surely. You pick up a lot of those. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, I guess we go this way, and then up. Excuse me. Coming through. King coming through. On my kingly way. Ooh, Evan King. King Evan. Well now, tis an honor. What brings you here? Hey. Lady Trudy asked me to come and speak to you, Mon Monacoy. She said she's worried about you. Is everything all right? Her ladyship's worried about me, eh? Well, now there's the thing. Well, truth be told. I'm more than a mite worried myself. See, to the small matter of these here fields of ours, the soil's as cold as the north blessed wind. Mm -hmm. Cold? Aye. It seems some sort of... Some think it's merely a fancy of mine, but I know soil, and this soil's a too blessed cold. Golly. Well, thank you for letting me know, Monokoi. <sighs> I've tried a few things to warm her up, Your Majesty, but nothing seems to be doing the trick. Forgive me. It seems I'm precious little use. Don't be silly, you're ever so useful. Well, let's think what we might be able to do about this, shall we? You sure you don't have any ideas about how to warm the soil up? There was one thing I thought to try. You forgive me if you think it's a foolish thought. But I was wondering if flooding the fields with some piping hot water might do the trick. Gosh. How hot exactly? Well, hot enough to bubble and boil at least, I reckon. I hate to ask, but could you see your way to seeking out such a thing, Your Majesty? Mm -hmm. Of course, leave it to me. Uh. Piping hot water. There you go. Simmering Wonder Water. Simmering Wonder Water, eh? Hey, that'll warm the soil right up. Thank you very much. We're gonna splash it too here. I'll keep the crops from mailing. Thank you kindly, Your Majesty. Mm. Very glad to help. I'll go tell Lady Truly the good news as well. Ah, uh, forgive me for making you do all the running around, lad. And all the while, I just stood here doing nothing. Well, if you hadn't been out here keeping a careful eye on the fields, we wouldn't have known there was a problem, Monokoi. Hey! You should really have a little more confidence, you know. Lady Trudy herself said that you're one of the most green-figured fellows she's ever seen. And that's high praise indeed coming from someone of her standing. Your ladyship said that? About me? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd best not let her down, had I? Nor yourself neither, your majesty. I'll be working harder than ever from now on, you'll see. Okay, I think we're good to go now. <laughs> I think we're good to go. Alright, uh, oh, I did, um... I did a bunch of kingdom management between episodes, so I thought it wasn't necessary to put it all in. I just, uh, collected money and spent it all again. Got some shit working again. And we'll see what happens. But there's just so much of that to do. Do I have cascading robes? I don't think I do. Uh, head down into the sewers and find out what the strange smell is. I guess we'll do that. We're just working our way through the list. Uh, I guess we'll go to the world map. Is he going from the other end, eh? From outside. <sighs> hey look, there's a trip door over there. I don't even see that. And a treasure chest. Lots of stuff. Boom. Can I just walk over this? I cannot. It means I have to fly over this. That's super annoying. Boom. I'm here. That was a quick flight. We went up more than we went forwards. Oh, it's one of those Autumnian purses again. I don't know which side of the water we're even meant to be on. Looks like it's on this side. Do I need my boat? I feel like we might need the boat. Oh, I see down there. Yep, yeah, okay, okay, we good, we good, we tasty. 
back out of the way, little cliff thing. Ding dong well. Okay, well, we have a slime thing. This is obviously the problem. Monster gives off an unpleasant aura, level 48. Let's kill it. It'll be one of those splitty ones, though. What's that awful smell? It's disgusting. Oh, flippin' heck, man. <laughs> Whoa, do something, Evan. I can't be breathed down by you. You're right, Lofty. <laughs> we have to do something, otherwise... Ugh. Ding Dong Dale was in big trouble. How did you end up here, you dirty little muck bucket? You di Snotly. What a sexy name you have. You're gonna die, you know. Snotly. Get wrecked! Beat this. Beat this. And... See ya! Hey, some level ups. Not for any characters that matter, but still. Level ups are level ups. Any more? Is that it? That pong was enough to knock your clean head off. Your head clean off. My god. If I got dyslexia, I think I've just developed dyslexia overnight last night. I thought I was going to be stunk to death. Yes. I did think I was going to choke for a minute there. Still, the smell's gone now. Thank goodness. Too right that is. The place is clean as a whistle now, man. Let's go give Roden the good news, shall we? I mean, of course there was, like, shit here. Right? Of course. We haven't been back in here since the very beginning of the game, have we? I don't think we have. Level 3. My god, it's been so long. It's been so long. There must be stuff here that I haven't seen since, like, the beginning of the game. I need to go pick all that shit up. Lots of iron nuggets here. Is this where we fought the, uh, the Black Knight or whatever? Lots of iron. It must be an iron mine. Or an X iron mine. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna go talk to Roden. Get paid, son. That monster went shit anyway. We dealt with him good and proper. We must be wiping out those tainted monsters on the list. Hello. You're right, Roden. There's a disgusting monster living down in the waterways. That's why everything smells so bad. That's right, man. Don't fret, though. We took care of the blighter. Oh, he's so smug. What a fucking smug bastard. I thought you might have. I noticed things were smelling fresh again. Thank goodness you came along when you did. To believe me in the first place and then to have gone and dealt with that, whatever it was, your heart's as pure as Ding Dong Dale's spring water. Okay. Alright, man. No need to go over the top. Over the top? Not a bit of it. Hey. You're a true hero, which is why I've decided to come and live with you in your kingdom. Would you mind? I'm sure you could do with an architect or two. Mm. Don't be silly, Roden. We'd love to have you. I mean, I think it, Roden, but we'll miss you, you know. They're lucky to have you over there. I suppose we'll try and follow your lead and keep a closer eye on the little things from now on. I can't wait to see what kind of things you'll come up with in your new home. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you both so much, and thanks for all your help up till now. The bricks and mortar of Ding Dong Dell are in safe hands. New recruit. Very nice. Oh, look, and a level up for, uh, Roland. Roland. Keep Roland, 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 Roland. That was a bit much. Um. Did we do this one? I don't even know if we checked this one. Oh, hang on, we should do this Hoot Nanny one. Because that's right here where we are. Oh, the four missing children, they're around here too, but I don't know where the fuck to look for them. I guess we gotta keep an eye out. I wasn't really looking, to be honest. So we need to keep our eyes peeled for that. Is that one? Are you a, are you a missing child? <laughs> no. You're crazy though, obviously you're insane. Which is nice. It's nice to see in young people these days. Um... Yeah. Doing deliveries, yeah? Let's do it. Think you're ready to start making deliveries? Oh, yes. Now, let me give you the rundown of everyone who's ordered a fish supper. Our first customer is a mouse wearing blue clothes. He's standing in front of the gate, stare staring out across the river. A human boy wearing yellow clothes and standing in front of the big house next to the quartermaster's store. And finally, we make a delivery to a Grimalkin woman down the slums. She'll be wearing a purple hat. You make all your deliveries in any order as long as you make sure that everyone gets their fish supper within three minutes. 
Any longer than that, and the batter starts to get cold and soggy. Ugh. Okay. I've already forgotten what everybody looks like. Already forgotten. Are we going the right way for this one over here? I don't feel like we are. Oh yeah, maybe we are. This whole thing took a big old turn. Alright, we're here. I don't remember who it was, but we're here. One of you? You! Oh. I can't believe it, it's really you, Your Majesty. I must say, I was skeptical when I heard you'd be making the deliveries, and I'm glad indeed to have been proven wrong. It's clearly, you're clearly good to take this fish supper, is just right, thanks so much. Well, let's get out of here. I don't know how we're gonna do this in three minutes. We're gonna be busting our balls to do this. We're only one minute down, but... This was the furthest, and we gotta travel a long way to get back to town proper. Cause that was in the slums. It wasn't even part of the town town. Doing the furthest one seems like the smartest move. This one's kind of on the way. Done. <laughs> it's you, King Evan. It was really you. Gosh, gosh, I don't believe it. Oh, the fish supper I ordered. It's Freshly cooked and piping hot teeth. This is perfect. Thanks, Your Majesty. You're welcome, little boy. I'm so excited right now. Alright, one more. Hey, dude. Why are you standing over here? To make it difficult? You prick. <gasps> King Evan, it's you. It's really you. And you brought me the fish supper I ordered? And it's hot and fresh, too. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. You did it, man. Three fish suppers. Successfully delivered in time. Let's head back to the boutique and yes. get our reward. Let's go! That was easy. Now what? Is that it? Is that done or do, you, do we have another set of customers to deal with? Because I'm already not into delivering. I don't want to be a delivery boy for the rest of my life. I'm a fucking king! You're making me be a pizza delivery man. The job's way too much like my real job. Mm. I managed to deliver all three fish suppers on time. Thank you King Evan, that's wonderful. And do you know you attracted a great deal of positive attention running all over the city like that? You've really put Hootique on the map. Everyone's talking about us. I don't suppose you feel like making more deliveries, do you? I'm a little busy at the moment, perhaps when things are a little less frantic. I was only joking, don't worry. I don't think I've forgotten about your reward either. Yeah. Uh, thanks, I guess. Now leave me the fuck alone, lady. With your silly quests and your nonsense. Okay. So we got the four missing children, are they going to be on the map or what? Looks like it. I couldn't see a one. Not one of the bastards. Not one of the little shitbags. Hey there. Okay, so you're just pointing to you. I don't know where they are though. This could take a long time to find them. Are you one of them? Hello. Found you. I didn't even know you were playing King Evan. You got me good and proper. I'm quite surprised to be honest. I don't think anyone would find me here. I suppose it's no surprise that you're a ho expert hide and seeker, your majesty. <laughs> you really went that hard to f I mean, thank you very much. Now you should be getting home. It's dinner time and your mother's waiting for you. Dinner time already? Thanks for letting me know. I'm heading home right away. That's one. Alright, gotta keep our eyes peeled. Are you one of them? You are not one of them. It's down here. Seems like a good spot for people to hide out. Are you one of them? You're totally one of them too. King Evan! But I'm supposed to be the seek. You can't just butt in and replace me because you're the king. Sorry, I'm not trying to replace you. Your mother asked me to look for you, that's all. Your dinner's ready. She wants you to go home. I don't believe you. Why would a king be running errands for my mother? And anyway, it isn't even dinner time. Are you sure? Your stomach seems to be saying something different. Maybe you're right, alright. I better go home then. This kid's a prick. Fucking wanker. Fucking wanker. Running kid! You're one of them too. What do you mean you found me? You were playing hide and seek, aren't you? Oh, I am. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I was just having a little <laughs> run around. You're the ADD one. Yes. Off you go. Go home, fucko. 
Ah, vamos. Well, that's an old woman. I was gonna click on her, but it's an old woman. Probably not her. There's no way to tell though. This place is huge. Like compared to all the other kingdoms, I feel like this one's the f most full of nooks and crannies that people could be hiding in. They could be anywhere. Except they have to be in the city. That's the only prerequisite. They won't leave the city. Look at up here. Ah, secrets! Is there any small children hiding up here, dude? What about down here? One of you? No? Why are there Haggleties up there? How do I get to them? I want to get to those Haggleties, but I don't know how. I don't think we can. Not that way. There's one more child and I don't know where they are. One more. One more little shitty bastard. I mean, I love children. I mean, I have a child. I have a child of my very own. And I'm lovely to her. <laughs> Promise. Nope. Nothing there. Hang on. Must be the Higgledies I'm detecting on the map here. You're not a child, are you? Well, you might be, but you're not the one I'm after. Oh, I don't know how to get to you either. You can't even talk to me, you're too busy. Sorry to interrupt. So sorry to interrupt. There, found you, you little bastard. Hello. Go home, you asshole. I'm not interested in your bullshit. Mm. All safe and sound. Let's go get our fucking reward. Best reward is knowing that the side quest is done. Another thing completed. For our completionistism. Thanks. Can't get me. Found them all. I really don't know how to thank you. There's no need to thank me, I'm just glad everyone's home safe and sound. I suppose they're all having dinner now. That's right. I'd ask them to come and say thank you, but to be honest, they're just too hungry to listen. They've eaten me out of house and home as we speak. They certainly seemed hungry enough when I found them. I'm sure they did, now. I think I'll go have my dinner too. Thanks again, Your Majesty. Why was the recommended level for that 50? What was even the point of having a recommend- There was no combat. Why would you even have a recommended level? It makes no sense. Oh dear God almighty. Okay, we've done a lot of missions. Holy balls. Sap for the zapper. I don't know where to get aromatic sap. Or gloopy curries. We can do the Tundra Rose. We're not quite level 68 though. It's going to be a nasty, 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 nasty mission. We got the Dream Chrism. Prism. We can give it to Crystal. Crystal with a K. At Dome Park. I forgot what we were doing for that mission. We talked to Bodley, right? We had to go to Hydropolis and talk to the Queen there? I think that was the thing that we were meant to do. But I got distracted. <laughs> Can't wait to see what this, this dream prism looks like. I got a strange feeling it's going to do good things for me, you know? It should do. It's rare as fuck. Enjoy. Mm. Let me guess. This is my dream prism? Dreamy is right. It's beautiful. This is not just a pretty piece of crystal, right? I can sense the magic in it. I can work this up into a nice wand. Oi. Just make sure it doesn't get broken, whatever you do. Oh, don't worry, I'll make sure it stays in one piece. Maybe I'll wear it around my neck or something. I mean, imagine having all that magical power so close to your heart. Do whatever you want with it, we're just glad you like it. Oh, oh I really do. Hey, you know, I've been really impressed with how you picked out all the great stuff for us. Yeah, you have a real eye. I'd have never known this stuff would suit me so well. Same here, I thought flowers and jewelry were, and all that stuff just wasn't for me, but you totally changed my mind. <laughs> Not bad, Tani. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, Evan. Thanks for helping me find it all. Okay, guys, we better get back to thinking about how we're going to get ahead in our work. Catch you again sometime. See ya. <laughs> this lot don't mess around, huh? I like it. What do we get paid? Nick's away necklace and 1200 bucks. Really? For a dream fucking prism? You fucking bastards. My god. 
Talk about getting underpaid for our job. Jesus. Jesus. What a douche. What a schnoozle. What a butthole. Okay, so that's a war mission. That's a war mission. Don't have sunset prisms. I don't know where to get that. Wearable tech looks badass. Fuck. Talk to the soldier. That's another soldier one. Flavor some mineral that falls from the heavens. I don't know. I got a steak dinner. We can go hand that over. I guess. We do have that steak dinner. We got more things on Facebook. I mean Leafbook. Whatever. Clear Facebook ripoff, but whatever. Hey dude. Brought your steak dinner. It cost me three grand. It's the most expensive steak I ever bought. There it is. The dish of my dreams. A steak dinner as I live and breathe. Please, you must excuse me, but can I help myself? I must consume it right away. Um nom 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 nom. I see... Ugh. I feel it. The bright and blessed sunshine of Ding Dong Dell. The shining majesty of nature. Reared in peace and comfort. Reared with love and care. Love, care, and the deliciousness of the highest quality ingredients available. All are present in this one magnificent dish. <laughs> it is incredible. Truly incredible. Well, as I think you are able to tell, I found that utterly delicious. You have my most heartfelt thanks. I greatly appreciate your kindness. Please allow me to offer you this piece of advice in return. You would do well to restore the Stolen King's Bonds as soon as possible. That's your advice? Talk about stating the obvious. What do you think we're trying to do by it? You're evidently better informed than I thought. Well, if you'll excuse me, it's time I was moving on. Fucking dipshit. Goldpool, what a culinary delights await me there, I wonder. So we're going to see you again, huh? Good to know. Hmm. What a curious fellow. He did seem to know a lot about Kingmakers, though, didn't he? Hmm. I'm not sure, man. Part of me thinks he's just some chancer trying to wangle himself a free lunch. Still. Can't be any harm in heading after him and seeing what he get up, gets up to next, huh? I suppose not. So he's off to Goldpool then. Alright, no, fuck it. Let's go to Goldpool. Fuck it. And then he'll ask us for more food, which we'll have to get him. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Where is he? Where'd you go, mister? Mr. Blister? I guess I don't have to worry about any of the enemies around here. They're pretty unthreatening to me at this point. We're just gonna park up over here. See what we can find. What do you suppose he's got off to? He'll end up in a fight with a monster if he's not careful. This place is littered with fucking monsters. They're everywhere. There's a cave that he could potentially have gone into. Down there somewhere. There's a treasure chest. Alright. Bit of a detour because I saw a treasure chest. And treasure chests come first, we know this. Right? Treasure chests are priority numero uno. Even if it only has angel tears, there he is. Even if it only has angel tears in it, still priority number one. Hey Holmes! What's crappening? Found you! Goldpour is a kingdom of profound mystery. May have lost the protection of its kingmaker, but a great spiritual energy flows through the land nonetheless. This is doubtless a reflection of its leader's talents. I am impressed. I had not expected to find such mastery in such a place. What the? How the flip can you know that just by standing out here, man? Oh. Oh, you were listening? I've been to glean some insights into the mystery of geomancy, no doubt. Well, I will gladly share some of my wisdom with you for a price. It's not guild as I require, of course. Nothing so vulgar. No, I have developed a craving for some lucky lobster. And now I can think of little else. Flip's sake, man, here we go. Yes. I must have some, I simply must! Right. We'll get it for you. Hey, Even man, I'm starting to think we got a bit above and beyond for this one. 
Do I have that? No. Lucky Lobster, I assume that's bought at Goldpore because he's talking about Goldpore, Goldpore Cuisine. And, you know, Lucky and Goldpore go hand in hand and all that. I really need to wrap this episode up though, unfortunately. But we gotta pick up some Lucky Lobster if we can before we go. I don't see any missions here, so that's, that's that sorted. And you know, if they have uh, the tart thing that we're after, that's, that's gonna help too. Lucky Lobster? Oh my god, the most expensive thing on the fucking menu. Again! Asshole. Okay, no, the meat jackpot's the most expensive thing on the menu. It's the second most expensive thing on the menu. What a douche canoe. Alright, let's go. We'll go turn this in and then we'll wrap the episode up. I can't believe how many side missions there are still to do. We are fucking working our asses off as far as side missions go. And there seems to be an endless supply still. Some of them are still too hard for us. We're getting pretty OP though. Getting there, slowly. Must, yeah, Lucky Lobster, yeah, whatever. Here you go. He's such a hungus, man. Oh. At last, Goldpaw's famous Lucky Lobster tail and all. Honestly, I shall never understand those who refuse to eat the most delicious part. I'd better eat it before it gets cold. Maybe it's because it's so close to its butthole. Nom 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 nom. Magnificent. A world of alluring flavors opens up before me and all thanks to that shining light in a world of culinary blackness, that home of deliciousness, yes, gold pour. Stimulation, sensual depth, and the deliciousness of the highest quality ingredients available, all are present in this one magnificent. You did that before. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I'm forever in your debt for such a delectable offering. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's only, f only fine cuisine were enough to restore rampaging kingmakers to their senses. Alas, only the restoration of the king's bonds will do this. Suppressing a kingmaker by force is all very well. But it's a little more than a temporary solution. You'll need to go further if you wish to save the world, Evan. What the How do you know who we are? What's your game, yeah? Right. Forgive me. But now that I've sated my hunger, it's time for me to move on. Of course. What awaits me in Hydropolis? Oh my god. At least to be in town this time. Oh, that you see that, man? He just cut me dead and walked off the cheeky so-and-so. Mm. You better follow him, Lofty. There's something special about him. I just know it. Well, we will follow him. But we'll do that next time. Because we are out of time for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next episode.